Jones, and today's Daily Hope passage comes from 2 Kings, the 16th and the 17th chapters. And the one thing to remember throughout all this devastation that's going to occur is God loves you. God wants to bless. Even though we may see destruction and despair and dispersion, God wants to bless. In the year 2007, my wife and I were sitting in our living room and we heard some sounds in the backyard. It sounded like a mournful cry and come to discover that it was a cat in the backyard. We said, okay, leave it alone. It'll go away. Don't fit it, feed it. It'll just leave. And so uh, days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months, six months as a matter of fact. Never fed the cat, never gave it any water or anything like that, but the cat was still in the backyard. And so I finally decided, okay, it's early 2008 now. Uh, I'm going to feed the cat. So I took some food out for the cat, and it wouldn't come near. It was very suspicious, didn't trust me. And uh, did it again a couple days later, same thing. And I remember saying to the cat, you know, all I'm trying to do is bless you. I'm just trying to bless you. And immediately I thought, oh, that's God and myself. All God wants to do is bless me. He wants to love me and be gracious to me. He wants to supply and provide for me. Um, but you have to get new, near to God for that to happen. You have to get near to God. Um, and so that wasn't happening with the cat. And so many times that doesn't happen with me. And so in Second Kings, the 16th and 17th chapters, we find first in the southern kingdom in chapter 16, King Ahaz is not drawing near to God. He's drawing near to the king of Assyria for his defense when he's being attacked on the north and on the east. And he takes his refuge in the king of Assyria. Then we we see in chapter 17 the king of the northern tribes, Hosea. Now he's going to be the last king of a line of almost 20 kings of the northern tribes since Jeroboam, and that was back in Second Kings, sorry, First Kings, the twelfth chapter. And every single one of the kings in the northern tribes was wicked, was evil, drew the people away from the true and living God to worship idols and other gods. At least in the southern kingdom, you had half of the kings who were good and half of them who were wicked. Well, we read the outcome of all of this in 2 Kings, the 17th chapter. We come to the very end of the chapter. It says, um, Do not forget the covenant I have made with you, and do not worship other gods. Rather, worship the Lord your God. It is he who will deliver you from the hand of all your enemies. Verse 40, They would not listen, however but persisted in their former practices. Verse 41, even while these people were worshiping the Lord, they were serving their idols. To this day, their children and grandchildren continue to do as their fathers did. It speaks to us in that we set the example for those who are going to follow us. And do we draw near to God? Do we take our refuge and our trust in him? Or Is it in ourselves? Is it in our status? Is it in our ability? Is it in our relationships? Is it in our money? God has to be first. There can be no other. There can be no competitors. There can be no comparison. God has to be first. We must always have God first. We must also always remember what he has done for us and where he's brought us from. And that's another thing that had happened there in Israel in both the northern and the southern kingdoms, they have forgotten who God was and what he had done for them. So church, always remember what God has done for you, what he's done uh, in the past, what he's doing now for you, and always, 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 the first commandment, he is the Lord our God. He is the one who we will worship and none other. We shall have no other gods before him. And so I pray that your day would be mighty and powerful and blessed in the Lord, that you would walk with the Lord in all your ways, 
and that the Lord would continue to bless you and strengthen you to be a light, to be an encouragement to others, to draw them to the true and living God. God wants to bless. God wants to love. Oh, by the way, Kitty, we've been friends for 14 years. Kitty is um, has been such a blessing to us as we have been to Kitty as well. And the God, Lord, Lord God desires to be the same in our lives. Draw near to him, and he will draw near to you. Please join us for worship uh, on Sunday at 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 6 p.m., or stream live, please. May God receive.